Chris, thank you. L.A. City leaders are hoping stiffer penalties will help deter thieves from stealing catalytic converters. Now, the parts have been cut from undercars at an alarming rate in the last few years. A new proposal includes fines and jail time for those caught with stolen catalytic converters. KTLA 5's Gene Kang live in Burbank with more. Gene? Hi, Glenn and Lou. This is a nationwide problem, and this shop in Burbank tells me that catalytic converters look like this. They go under your car. They say it takes thieves about 60 seconds or less to just take them. However, they can add deterrence, leaving you with a huge bill. California leads the nation for stolen catalytic converters. Now thieves are targeting every make and model. It used to be like Toyota Priuses, Honda Accords, cars like that, but now it seems lately they've just been, they've ventured off into every single branch of car make, you know, from Chevy trucks to Ford trucks, motorhomes, a lot of motorhomes now are getting stolen. More smuffler in Burbank replaces more than six converters a day. They cost about two to eight grand to fix, with back orders taking up to six months. Then there's this. This is the shield on a Prius um, that we put underneath the car and it prevents them from cutting to take the catalytic converter out. So this gets bolted to the bottom of the car um, with one way bolts and stuff so you can't take the bolt out it goes in there. These deterrents cost hundreds of dollars but make it much harder for thieves and for motorhomes they attach thick chains. The average one that tries to take those off is about 30 minutes okay. if they can so get it off. Car shops can also etch your VIN number on converters to prove it's yours. Police say that valuable info helps crack down on criminals. This week, the Los Angeles City Council just tentatively approved a new ordinance to try and curb the theft of catalytic converters, stolen for their precious metals. The council says the number of stolen converters skyrocketed by nearly 728% in the last five years. In 2018, about 970 were reported stolen, and last year it jumped to 8,000. If approved, the law would require people to show proof they own the catalytic converter, including valid documents. If found guilty of possessing a stolen converter, there would be a fine of up to $1,000 or jail time of up to six months. Multiple cities across Southern California will be talking about this. As for the L.A. City Council, they still have a final vote scheduled for next month. Reporting live here in Burbank, Gene Kang, back to you in the studio. All right, thank you, Gene.